to say that the 31 horror reviews of Halloween is multifaceted is an understatement. There are certain things that I wanted to read, like Galaxy of Fear, or like some of the, a classic like Frankenstein, and there are things that have just been sitting in my queue that have been read or were in the process of being read before this. Howling 2 by Gary Bradner, also known as Howling the Return, is one of those. Now, as you all know, the Howling, the first novel, I thought was a really solid read and was genuinely creepy, and it did a lot right. It's probably one of Gary Bradner's best novels, but Howling 2 does all of that better. So it's been a few years since the first Howling book novel, and Karen's moved on. She's remarried, has this little stepson. She's trying to make a new life for herself and deal with the, the horrible traumatic events that happened in the first book. But there are a few werewolves that survived the fire in Drago, and they want revenge. And that's what this is about. It basically cranks up all the horror from Howling, to 11. And is Karen seeing things? Is any of this happening? Are there things actually happening? And it's more the latter, of course. But Howling 2 is a really solid read and is probably the best Howling book of the trilogy. This came out in the late 70s and, I mean, it feels timeless. I will say that. Um, I mean, in the sense of, yes, it happened a long time ago, but at the same time, like, it doesn't really affect the story. It's just a solid read. And a lot of characters return from the first book that you'd be surprised of that, that they show up, but it makes sense why they're there. I want to preference this before we get into Howling 3, because the this book makes sense as a sequel and it's the it's probably my favorite gary bradner book uh i'm being serious this is an old version i know encyclopocalypse has the rights to i think almost all of gary bradner's novels with the exception of i think the cat people novelization but they're slowly kind of re-releasing all of his stuff so your copy, if you choose to pick this up, will probably say Howling the Return, which is the UK um, version, uh, title of the book. So that's why I also say Howling 2, Howling the Return. Also, the audiobook, it's going to say Howling the Return on Audible. So that there, that, that that's just to clarify things here. Honestly, it's well worth your time. You do need to read the first Howling book to get stuff out of this one. You can't just pick up Howling 2 and be like, Oh, that, um, I'm going to get a solid werewolf story. Yes, you will, but you won't. Certain aspects just won't make a whole lot of sense. So, anyway, I give this a solid 5 out of 5. It's probably one of the best horror sequels ever written. If I'm being completely honest. The, the pacing's great. The intensity, great. The horror, genuinely some really uncomfortable things in this. And some weird things in this. But anyway, have a nice day.